Hello, my beautiful soul family, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August 8th to the 14th of 2022. And welcome to Patricia 1111. Of course, also check out my other channel, Bianco Nera 1111 Tarot. Um, I will leave a link um, for you um, in the community center when I post stuff or underneath the video. Okay, everything that you want to know about me, how to find me on social media, and other things will be underneath the video. Okay, so uh, I do have a bit of a, um, uh, the sniffles. So if you hear my voice is, uh, or my nose is congested, just know that <laughs> it is what it is. So before we get started, I'm gonna take out my bell to clear the energy. We'll see who's up next in the readings uh, today and it's aries welcome my beautiful aries hashtag aries nation is in the house you know i always like calling you guys that okay so aries uh, it's about keeping to keep the faith in the situation here okay so uh we're gonna start out with the oracle card so anywhere that you have aries in your chart this is your reading Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, you claim it. But if it doesn't, then look at your rising moon, Venus. And those of you walking a different path or a spiritual path, also check out your uh, North Node. In the reading, take what's yours and let the rest go. And also feel free to swap the energies around if you feel I'm not talking about you. Um, Cuspers are welcome to the reading. And yes, check out both of your videos. Um, and also for the cross watcher, I might be talking to them and a cross watcher, someone that, you know, wants to come and see what, uh, Aries is up to. Okay. Um, what else? Yes. Just remember that these are general readings. Uh, for the singing bowl, I got it back. What I have to do is I erase the first one. And then I uh, re, uh, re I upload it again, and um, and I will put it public uh, in a short time from now, just uh, so that you could see what I meant by the video. Okay, so Aries, let's see. Excuse me for my sniffles. Let's see what your affirmation is. It's about healing the past, Aries. Healing the past. And your affirmation is, I step into my future with strength and clarity. I step into my future with strength and clarity. I step into my future with strength and clarity. And so it is. See, um, it's beautiful. So we're going to put this here for you. And what is the theme or the challenge of the week? Well, this came uh, reversed. Uh, so this is usually the justice card. It's about uh, fairness in a situation or maybe some type of truth or some type of something that you're trying to bring into balance here. So uh, this is what uh, it came out like that. So I have to honor it if it comes reversed. So maybe this is what uh, is a challenge for you. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. And also this card came reversed as well. And it's energy. This is about uh, intensity, passion, and power. Maybe some of you don't feel that you have the energy or um, maybe you feel overwhelmed with energy. Uh, there's two meanings to this card. Or you're overwhelmed with energy or you feel that you have no energy, but there's always um, availability okay, of energy from the source. It's always there. You just need to tap into it. Okay, uh, for those of you that are overwhelmed with energy and don't know what to do with your energy, then that's you could do something creative with it. Uh, there's passion you could do with it. You could exercise. You could go jogging. Whatever it is that you have to do to let it out. And for others of you, you feel like you don't have any any energy. That's when you have to get into meditation and tap into the source because the source, it, source as or the universe has unlimited, unlimited energy for everyone. Okay, so. These two cards go hand in hand. 
here. So now let's get started with your reading. Okay, what am I gonna get here for the cards? Okay, we'll start. We'll go with these. I'm just gonna put this right here. All right. So what's going on with Aries? Page of Pentacles reversed in the situation. What's crossing you is the Queen of Cups reversed. What is the root? Is the Knight of Wands reversed? Now, just because the cards are reversed doesn't mean it's a bad reading. Because a lot of you have a concept that the cards all have to be upright and that's not how tarot cards work or oracle cards okay so just uh, keep that in mind there's a reason there's a story behind why any card shows up even cards that come up sideways let's look at the recent past till now see what i feel here is that there is maybe some type of unbalance maybe some of you don't have a lot of energy right now that's why these cards came reversed it's to show you that maybe some of you are feeling tired at this time. You're not, there's no action, like not able to, to move, like motivation. Uh, maybe, um, you know, your emotions are all over the place. You're not available at this time. You're not able to uh, bring in, um, you know, any stability or not stability, but you're not feeling stable, you know, in your emotions and in your placements. Um, so we're going to look into that. Let's look at the recent past till now. Okay, let's look at the recent past till now. Got the three of wands reversed. Yeah. So something did take place here that um, I feel like, of course, it has to do with your past here. You see, because you are healing the past at this time. Um, something that, you know, maybe uh, was cut short in a situation where some type of like near future or something that you were expecting did not come through. A lot of you are not looking into the future. Um, in the recent part, like maybe still in the current energy. We're going to continue and then I will get into the reading, okay? So just give me a second here. Okay, see this card came this way. I have to honor it. So some of you are on the verge, on the verge at this time. Verge, V E. V-E-R-G-E, -E, Verge, um, of completing something here, um, of some type of closure within yourself. There's a closure, and there's another side. See, there's, you see, look at this. <laughs> Cards don't lie. Uh, spirit knows what he's doing, okay? You are going through a huge transformation of healing here. There's a, there is a lot of healing that's taking place from your past here, okay? So you're, at, like I said, you're on the verge of, of healing it, of completing it, of uh, finding that closure, finding that silver lining in relationships or interlinked relationships, whatever this means for you, whether it's your family, a loved one, your other half, children, or just in general, any situation you're in, you are very close to healing. You've been take, you've been doing the healing work. Now let's look into the how you're feeling at this moment, and in the immediate future the ten of cups you see and what is being hidden from you is the hangman you've been waiting for this and in hopes and fears you got the ace of swords reversed this is the hope and fear and don't look at it as your immediate future it's more an open fear because maybe here there's no clarity or truth in the situation yet yet because yet why because you're healing still 
you're in the healing process here. Okay, you're trying to bring something into balance. That's where the card is reversed here. You get it? So uh, not be able to communicate, maybe. We'll see. And let's take um, a card for the possible outcome. Of course, the card will be accurate, but you have to remember free will. There's free will in this world. And so sometimes that's why the outcomes, the outcome of a situation could change especially if you're dealing with other people. You got the Queen of Pentacles reversed, okay? And in the overall, you got the world. So what is happening for you here, Aries, is that you are you are completing an important cycle in your life. This is about freedom, okay? It's about whatever life lessons you had to learn, whatever you had to go through, there will be completion okay and success and going to the next level but you're pausing before jumping there why because there's still things that need to be cleared okay so someone here is not healing not able to look into the future right now or maybe thinking that it will never happen for them okay but again these two cards hand in hand okay in the right now in the in the present moment of the current energies is that there's a lot of healing that's taking place and when you find that silver lining, when there's that closure, or for some of you, 1.5%, there could be a reconciliation, but we have to see with other cards, okay? In, in, in the immediate future, there could be a new feelings taking place, new emotions taking place in the home, okay? Maybe rebuilding something here. There's happiness with children. If, if you do have no children, you're not married and you have nobody, just a sense within yourself, your community. Uh, there's a lot of love and support around you with friends, family, whatever the case is. Uh, it's, it's, it's about being truly contented here. And what is in from you is that there's been a long waiting point, sacrifice, you've been waiting for something. And you had to be in this position to see the whole picture because you are gonna gain clarity, but some of you don't have the clarity right now because you're still healing, okay, your emotions. You're not able to see everything right now. And with the Queen of Pentacles reversed here, there's, it's just right now you're feeling unstable. It could be in a business, could be in love, could be in within yourself or in a family situation. And now we're gonna clarify the cards for you to see what else is going on, okay? So let's see here. I am drinking a lot of uh, <coughs> excuse me, hot tea, lemon, um, turmeric, uh, echinacea, honey. Uh, I don't know. I'm doing it. I do. I'm doing all the hot teas right now. Okay, and uh, echinacea, I really love a lot. It really helps too with the immune system. All right. So sorry for my voice, my nose, <laughs> and my coffee. Let's look at the world card here. Let's let's clarify that first, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. The world. Why is the world card? Here we go. Here we go. So you got the page of swords. The pages are all about like new beginnings. Okay, the beginning of a, an energy here. So this is about seeing things, perceiving things, um, ideas coming through very clear here. Okay, uh, and in, in energy uh, communication as well. So let's see. We've got the world, the page of swords. What else? Okay, see, <laughs> you got the world card twice. So definitely there is. Uh, something important, an important cycle that you're ending here, okay? And uh, let's see what the cycle was about. Well, you're not feeling stuck and in your head about a situation any longer, okay? So you're not gonna feel trapped here, okay? In your thoughts and how you're seeing something. I'll put this right here. Maybe at one point you were holding on to something, you know, uh, holding on to something very tightly, not, you know, maybe not wanting to let go of uh, maybe, um, you know, it could be any situation, whatever you're dealing with. 
um, especially with the heart chakra, it's also like blocking that, I feel. But like really having a hard time letting go of something here, okay? Not being able to release it. Uh, but what I see here is that I feel that, you're, like I said, you're completing something, right? There's a completion. There could be some type of communication coming in for you, 100%. Uh, and it, it's all about your stability, okay? Look at this, the Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. I see stability in the home. I see, like, joy in the home, celebration in the home. I don't see, like, there's, like, so much interference around this home any longer. It could be some type of proposal. But there is, uh, there is a foundation, and it's it's pretty strong here. And uh, yeah, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles in the overall, you are stable. You are stable in your finances. Maybe this is what you want, uh, but it's it's definitely here for you. Okay, and there's a sense of someone that's very nurturing and caring and energy. It's about success and victory. So you did get the Four of Wands. That's beautiful. Let's look at this page of pentacles reversed. Why is the page of pentacles reversed here? For Aries, these angels, show me what they need to see. Okay. Wow. Okay, so whatever that took place here. Um, wow, they look at the fire energy, except for the high priestess, but look at the fire energy here. It's all fire. <laughs> okay. Some of you put uh, your boundaries up here. Okay, um, in the situation, and you're very cautious. Um, you've been through a lot, and you're really tired, but you're still persistent in moving forward in a situation, even if it has to do with you're trying. To, I feel like you're trying to perfect something here. Okay, and in this situation, what Spirit is saying, maybe you're feeling that nothing's going to happen for you, or something is taking too long here. But Spirit is saying, hey, wait, wait, listen, there is going to be some type of action here. Okay, there is an action, some type of action that's taking place. Could be someone coming in and taking action passionately, or you're going to be in this type of energy. Because your manifestations are here with the Three of Wands. Your manifestations are here in the situation. Okay? And it's like your world is your oyster. You could you could start over. You have a blank canvas. Oh, uh, blank. Blank, not black. Blank canvas that you could go wherever you want. This is about success could be also overseas opportunities maybe some of you want to travel okay whatever the case here it's happening and you know there is success with the six of wands there's victory it's, you're gonna feel recognized rewarded if it's not from somebody it's from spirit the universe they will they will provide you with all these blessings and it's about following your intuition because there's mystery around this it's about following your gut feeling okay now but some of you have your boundaries up. I want to take an extra card for the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so let just take one more card for... Um, I'll show you which two cards. Hold on. just want to see something here. Just in case I have... Because uh, I do have another message here as well. Uh, now, uh, there's another message coming through. Um, now, this will not pertain to all of you. Because remember, it is a general reading. But there could be someone here that... Uh, it is not able to commit to you in a situation or no is not able to commit to you in a situation that when they would come into your life or in and out of your life they were not able to come in with any stability and some of you put uh, you, you block someone or you put your boundaries up with someone so I'm going to take an extra card for these three cards okay so um, so there is two stories <laughs> two storylines here Let's see with the page. Give me a card for the page of pentacles, the knight of wands, and the knight of wands. Because <coughs> there is a completion. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry that uh, you hear my cough. <laughs> huh. You healed. There could have been some type of sadness here, or could have been sadness or separation here. Or some type of just a, uh, some type of grief in the situation here, but there there is healing. You have three 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 on the ground. Okay, so definitely your ascended masters are you know with you, whoever that you believe in. Let me see one more card for the three of swords reversed, the three, um, the page of pentacles reversed, the nine of wands, and the nine. What is the conclusion? Yeah, you know the. Um, this new beginning did not take place, but you healed it. And from healing that, from following your intuition uh, and looking into the future and 
like leaving something behind. I, I see this as someone here leaving something behind, whether it was a person, a situation, and really looking into the future. Look how beautiful it is. It's sunny, um, there's success, okay? And you are being guided, so you are taking that guide, whatever your angels or spirit guides and universe is showering upon you. Okay, now let's look at the Queen of Cups reversed and what's crossing you and could be your challenge. What is the Queen of Cups reversed? We've got the Wheel of Fortune. So Jupiter's here. Why is the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here for my beautiful Aries Nation? Okay, so there was something here unstable. It could be money, prosperity, not having the abundance that you wanted, or stability. Uh, someone here that was not able to give, maybe someone here that was emotionally available, whatever the case is here, something shifting, because uh, Jupiter is coming, coming in saying, hey, you know what? Jupiter is coming in and saying, well, you know what? Uh, karma is coming. Change is going to be coming towards you. Are you ready? Okay, are you ready for this? Whatever this is. Um, because something is destined and faded. But remember, there's always free will if you're dealing with another individual. But Jupiter is here with the Wheel of Fortune. And with the King of Wands, this, is a, this could be you or someone you're dealing with. This is about leadership. There's a bigger picture in the situation maybe that you haven't seen. Someone here that goes after what they want. They're very bold, they're very daring. They can have a bit of ego in the side of them. They're very prideful, but they go with, after what they want passionately here with the King of Wands. And maybe this is how you're feeling, okay? Which is okay to feel that way. Now, let's look at this uh, Knight of Wands reversed in the root. Someone here is not taking action. We'll see why. There's a reason why we see there's told you why there's oh my god. So look at all these horses. Maybe some of you have horses. Maybe you'll come you're competing in horse. Like you know, those horse like those competitions. I don't know, I never seen so many horses in one reading. Uh, you've got the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, the chariot, Cancerian, and the Knight of Swords. Someone here is not in the root where you need to focus. Someone here is not budging. Someone here is, this cannot find their direction yet. They, they can't take control of the situation. They haven't taken whatever. There's something here that's taking place. Okay. Uh, the Knight of Wands. Someone here is not able to uh, move or at this time. Someone here is not finding direction or taking control in the root. And uh, no message is coming in. Okay. It's not clear yet, but these cards also came out here. So let's look at this together. Why? Well, someone made some type of decision. There was some type of decision that was uh, rendered here with the Two of Swords reversed. This is going to be an intense reading, Aries. I hope you're ready for it. If you need to watch it again, watch it. But uh, let me tell you, uh, with the Moon card, the reason why someone is not moving, this is Neptune and Pisces. It's because there's uncertainty uh, which direction to go. There could be confusion, could be illusion, there could be fears, stepping out into the comfort zone type of energy, I also feel. There's a need to, there's a need, uh, there's a need to reflect. That's why you're in the hangman position, or someone is, if you're dealing with a Pisces. Um, but you are being uh, guided along the way Okay, so there's a need to reflect because uh, there's lack of clarity in the situation here. But there is something that you've been working on and putting a lot of energy into, whether it's you, a project, long hours into something. And with the moon card, it also talks about where you have to see past the illusion, past the veil of illusion, because something is not what it seems. Okay, someone here has been putting a lot of hours and work into something. 
There's a new energy that wants to come through. There's new beginnings that want to come through here. New beginnings. Very passionate new beginnings. Look at all the fire energy around you, Aries. You're rocking it. Okay? It's going to bring in the star. Something that you dreamt of. Or maybe it could also be, you know, some of you could be famous. Becoming famous or meeting someone famous. It could be because I do. I am picking that up in the reading. But it's about a sense of hope and optimism. It's about cleansing, purification here. Beautiful transformations that took place. Okay, but definitely there's a dream that's coming true here in the root. The reason why maybe you're not seeing it is because you're still healing. It's coming in with the Ten of Pentacles. This is the fruit of life. It's abundance, prosperity, stability. It could be also legacy. And the sun is shining on this. It's all about positive vibes, and this is the best card in the deck. Wow. Just those three rows are like powerful in energy. Now, right? Look, cards don't lie. Now, let's look at the Three of Wands reversed in the recent past till now. Why was the Three of Wands reversed? So, Spirit has a lot to say to you here. Your angels and Spirit guides have a lot to say to you. Because they want to tell you that you're doing a wonderful job. You've got the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords reversed, the Seven of Swords reversed. Yeah, something was, you know, the reason why something maybe ended abruptly or in a situation here is because some type of truth was revealed to you. But you're not worried anymore. You don't, you're not worried about that any longer. There was some type of judgment that had to take place. Maybe you did a judgment or a judgment. Okay, whatever that this took place here, whatever judgment that took place, it you um you um you were going through a reawakening. And uh, here you are, rising like a phoenix from the ashes. You're, this is about you working on your self confidence, self esteem, bringing the best out of you. How you know. The best out of you, like uh, being outgoing and um, a beautiful transformation here with the Queen of Wands. Beautiful transformation inside and out. Now let's look at the Five of Cups sideways with the Temperance sideways here, okay? Because I need, I need to leave them like this, okay? Because again, you're on the verge of closure or reconciliation. It all depends. Okay, let's look at the Five of Cups here, sideways with Temperance, sideways. Okay. okay, Nine of Cups, Two of Wands reversed, Ace of Swords. Well, look, there's a wish fulfillment that's coming towards you. Maybe at one time, um, you you know, you were, at one time with the Two of Wands, uh, when you, this was upright, you were making plans and progress and decisions, but you're not, you were not able to move forward. But when the card is reversed, it shows me that you are. Because you're going to get the breakthrough. See, the Ace of Swords is upright. You're going to get the clarity that you need. The truth is coming in. Keep the, uh, you need to hold the vision, Aries. And you're having a beautiful energy of healing here. There's beautiful healing that's taking place here for you. Okay, and your dreams are going to... Your dreams are going to come true, and you are moving from the two of wands reversed to the three of wands upright. You see? Now, let's look at the ten of cups in the immediate future and how you're feeling. You're going to have, you're going to be happy again. There's going to be happiness for you. Okay. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Aries. Yeah. Now, while you're going through this healing process, maybe at this time you're not getting the messages that you want to receive. Maybe there's some, the communication is really rough at this time. Okay? Someone here is still healing with the Ace of Cups reversed. Okay? Someone is still uh, healing themselves healing their past, their repressed emotions, a lot of self-love and energy here. And 
maybe in the time of August or, and so forth, there's going to be a sense of renewal. There's going to be an offer here. It's coming in with stability. It's about finding the courage, the strength. I see a beautiful healing and abundance that's taking place. You see how much the sun is shining on you? It's beautiful. Now let's look at the hangman and what is being hidden from you. Someone here is waiting. Contemplating. Getting the clarity that they need. Waiting. Why is the hangman here? Oh, okay. At this moment, whoever this is, whether it's you or someone else, because in this hangman position here, someone here is not coming in. Okay, maybe there's uh, not someone not, not being able to uh, express themselves. Okay, from their heart, uh, there could have been an arrival, an invitation. It's on pause right now. Why? Because again, with the six of cups reverse, someone is healing their past of connections, family members. Could be anything. But there's connection, but there's definitely, there's definitely here healing that's taking place still, okay? And remember, patience is a virtue. You've got the Emperor, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Here you are, standing in your power. Or you're dealing with another Aries. This could be the Divine Masculine. Maybe some of you need to step into that. Or some of you are waiting for the Divine Masculine. Whatever the case is, it's about whatever this commitment is. It's about setting up new rules, new boundaries. It's about authority, stability, and it's about taking action. With the Queen of Cups, yes, you're very intuitive, compassionate. Okay, um, your emotions are good here. They're balanced, and you come in also with the Queen of Swords that you could also be thinking logically. You think logically, feeling emotion, your emotion, your, your balance in your emotions. So that's really good, okay? There you go. Now let's look at the Ace of Swords reversed here in the Hopes and Fears. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed? You got the Page of Cups. There will be, again, an offer. So you've got the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Swords. Those are all new beginnings taking place. Emotion, st uh, stability, and communication. Okay. Now, the reason why that maybe there was maybe loss of communication or whatever the case here is that something, a tower moment took place in the, in the recent past that caused instability, no communication, not getting the clarity that they needed, and someone did walk away here, okay, abruptly, I find. But someone's coming in with the Page of Cups, with the King of Cups and energy. There's balance here, whoever this person is. There's balance between their heart and their mind, their heart and their mind. There's someone that values family. They're emotionally available. They may be like a they're young child. They're a young child at heart, but they're an old soul type of energy is what I'm picking up. Someone that's very logical. They have a lot of wisdom. Look at that. Nice. Let's look at this Queen of Pentacles in the possible outcome. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Okay, we'll look at this, right? So there was some type of ending that took place here. Could have been a marriage for some of you. Okay, there could have been like a phase of a, could be for some of you marriage, okay? Where there was instability, there was maybe third party situations or just interferences. It doesn't have to be third party. Um, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe there's a renewal here. I feel for some of you there could be a renewal. Now, this will not apply to all of you. And yeah, it's about going through a huge transformation here 
with the death card, death and rebirth is taking place, a huge transformation. And it's about ending of difficult cycles here, okay? Going through a metamorphosis, like, you know, the caterpillar that goes into the cocoon stage and they have to face other, you know, their dark, dark darkness energy or emotions and whatever it is and to come into the light. And the Ten of Cups shows up again as new beginnings are taking place, okay? Uh, feeling happy again. And it's about seeing things from a different perspective with the King of Swords. It's about someone that sticks to the facts and attains their goals. And um, this is someone that is very observant. There's an observing energy. But it's about someone that sees things from a higher perspective. Just like the King of Wands. There's a, there's a bigger picture in the situation. And here we go. Let's check out the need to, right this time at this time right now someone here is not is uh is still not we like with the six of cups right reversed and the six of swords reversed someone here is not able to go through uh, is not able to leave something behind it's not able to travel it's not able to relocate okay someone here is feeling stuck all right um maybe some i also have a messenger for someone here um okay this is another message coming through Sorry about that. Give me a second. I need to drink my tea. Okay, so listen up. I do have a me another message here that someone here um, sees you as the light, uh, sees you as um, like you're there. You are there, their divine timing. I don't know what something like that. It's like the passion is there. There's. There is definitely two people coming in together, but someone here is not, is unable to relocate at this time or come towards you, okay? Reason why? Well, they're still releasing, okay? They're still releasing um, of the things that went wrong in some type of connection here, and uh, they're, they're trying to find closure. You know, they want to do things on their own, okay? They, there's help around them, angelic help too, but someone here does not want the help, okay? Um, there could have been uh, a lot of lies or unjust stuff that took place in their life. And at this time, there is someone here that is, uh, you know, withdrawing from others and going inward. They just want to follow their own path here, okay? Uh, you just have to give them time. You have to give them time. Because I do see that there, this is a divine connection, definitely. Uh, you know, with the lover's card, uh, this is a, you, you know, someone here has to make choices, and I do see someone here uh, taking time out to heal the body, mind, and spirit here, okay, uh, to gain the clarity that they need. They've been working on themselves. They've been, um, at the same time, they at one point they were trying not to feel those emotions, but definitely they are working on themselves here, okay. And this is the divine mass, uh, feminine coming in, right? Um, definitely here there is for, there is new opportunities. Um, the harvest is coming in. I don't know if that will mean something for others out there, but the divine feminine is just waiting. There's someone, there's a definite, definitely a divine feminine that is just waiting, okay, for things to shift. So that's your reading. And now I do have, uh, I do want to take out an extra card for you. Let's see what the angels want to tell you here. What message for Aries from August 8th to the 14th. I really, um, I feel my heart chakra expanding for whoever this is, message is for. Um, just keep the faith. Okay, keep the faith. Let's see. Okay. Uh, we do have two energies here. First one you have is motivation. Okay, and I'll read it to you. It says, when spring approaches, the flower fairies. Oh, this is a fairy deck. Okay, so this is the fairy oracle. Okay, so when spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they, they say, get, be get busy and do it. That's when the Aries season comes in. That's why you're a cardinal sign. Okay, spring. Then you have the moon energy. Look how beautiful this card is. And it says here, 
surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you, if you're feeling confused, the fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Well, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my new channel, please do. All the information will be underneath the video. It's Bianco Nera 1111 Tarot. The videos will not be the same here as they are there. That's a freestyle, completely different. Okay? And um, anyways, know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, together we are one, together we are love, and together we are light. Take care. Bye.